Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Well, it is time to do an accuracy test on the Daisy Model 74 BB rifle. We're going to do this at 10 meters distance, uh, which we're probably pushing our luck, but yeah, what the heck. Anyways, so let's go down range here on the target. I'm going to be shooting at the left side target. I did bring a tool kit out here with me too, um, just in case we have to adjust the windage because you can adjust for windage and elevation on the rear sight on the Daisy Model 74. So I've not sighted the gun in. I have done my crony tests and whatnot. Um, so this is basically a sight in and accuracy test. So we'll take a couple shots and see where things are landing. Now, from what I'm seeing right now, I'm gonna first have to raise the blade sight up a bit. Yeah, let's take a look at that. <coughs> so we are well centered. Uh, got the one off to the side there. But we're going to have to uh, raise the blade Right to the top here. I think it's hitting a little on the high side. Bring her down. I think 10 meters is actually too much for this gun to handle. So, let's move in. I think we're going to hit the uh, 5 meter area. Close enough to it. I'll just sit in the chair. So we're going to uh, shoot at the right hand target. So, 15 feet. Yeah, it does. Well guys, out of all of that, we got one bullseye. 
even a 15 feet, the accuracy out of this thing. Great for shooting tin cans, I'd probably say. Um, if you're trying to go for accuracy, don't. It's a, it is a BB gun, but it is definitely pretty sucky on the accuracy side. Um, you know, it's kind of a little all over the place, no matter the BBs that are flying out. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a bit closer. There we go. Uh, so the one on the right side is the one I just finished shooting uh, from 15 feet away. The one on the left is from 10 meters, so 33 feet. Um, definitely not an accurate shooting gun. But like I said, it's a good little fun plinker. Shoot your tin cans with it. You know, might take you a shot or two to hit a tin can. You know, um, something very light duty distance wise. Um, if you're going to try shooting at 10 meters, um, you know, it's going to be a little scattered. Let me just load some BBs in here. I mean, you can get a couple here and there, but uh, I probably suggest just using this for plinking off tin cans. A little bit larger objects, but lighter ones, and at least you're going to hit them, uh, whether you're at 10 meters or 5 meters type of thing. That's where I'm at with this gun. Now, for 29 bucks, it was an absolute steal. I mean, literally 29 bucks Canadian. That's the cheapest CO2 gun I've ever bought in my life, you know. Um, <laughs> And being brand new at that too, um, it is nice with the with the mag in it as well, um, you know. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I guess uh, we're up for a review next. So, stay tuned for that video.